You what? Have you got any money? What? I haven't got any bus fare until I can get to the bank. And I... Ah. Mm. It's all right. Found some. Mum? What? Uh, this letter. It was... oh. Hang on. Hello? Dear Matthew. David, I have great pleasure in enclosing a cheque made out to your name for £1,227,309.87. I realise that the receipt of so large an amount may come as something of a surprise, though I hope a pleasant one, and you will be wondering what has happened and why. However, the, the matter is somewhat complicated, and perhaps the best thing would be if you and your mother would be kind enough to come to my office at your earliest convenience so that I can explain. I look forward to seeing you. Yours sincerely, Jay Wattis. Yeah, I'll talk to her later. All right, then. Bye. Oh, Christine's ill again. I'll have to go and open the shop. You'll see yourself round to Claire's, won't you? Mum. Not now, love. Not unless it's life and death. I'm going to be late. Well, well, it's not exactly life or death, but I think you ought to... Tell me this evening, eh? Don't forget to lock up. Something wrong? I, I I got this in the post this morning. Is this some sort of joke? I don't know. I, I don't think so. But why? Why would? I mean, why? I don't know. Well, what did your mum say? I, I haven't told her. She, she had to go out. What is Winter and what is? It, it's, it's a firm of solicitors. Whoa. All that money. All what money? Oh, uh, Matt got a cheque in the post this morning. Oh, lucky Matt. I wish they'd send me one. What are you going to do with it? I, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, don't take Claire's advice. She'll just tell you to spend it all on clothes. No. Right. Put it in the post office. That's my advice. Save up for something worthwhile. Uh, I'll remember that. Had any breakfast? M what? Uh, oh, um... Get the boy a bowl, Claire. No, it's... Um... Don't worry, you can pay me back when you're a millionaire. If this is real, you already are one. Yeah. You think it could be? There's only one way to find out. It could have come from a rich uncle. I don't have any rich uncles. An unknown rich uncle from Australia, who's died and left you all his money. If it was something like that, they'd have said so in a letter, wouldn't they? Maybe it's premium bonds. I don't have any premium bonds. The lottery! I'm not allowed to win the lottery. I'm not old enough, am I? There has to be some reason, Matt. They wouldn't just send you a million and a quarter pounds for nothing. There is one reason I can think of. What? I made a mistake. Good morning. Hi, I've come to see someone. I got this. Oh, yes, of course. Mr. Wattis is expecting you. If you'd like to take a seat. Mr. Wattis, Matthew Collins is here. Right. He'll be straight down. She doesn't think it's a mistake. I'm sorry your mother couldn't be here. Uh, she works in a pram shop. She's only off on Wednesdays. I see. Uh, well, uh, I'm glad you could come along anyway. Uh, uh, because I'm afraid we owe you an apology. I knew it. It's not mine, is it? I'm sorry? The money. It's, it, it's a mistake. It's, it's not mine. Oh, no. Uh, uh, no, no, there's no mistake about the money, Matthew. That's all yours. 
It is? Oh, definitely. Uh, no, the reason why we owe you an apology is because, uh, well, you should have had it much earlier. Well, um, most of it, anyway. Oh. Your family affairs, you see, have always been looked after by my grandfather. And it wasn't until he died two weeks ago that, uh, well, all this came to light. But, but, I mean, where did all this money come from? From the game. Game? Yes. You see, none of the rest of us had any idea that he was trying to sell it. Well, let alone how successful he'd been. I haven't the faintest idea what you... You mean... the game? What did he say? The doctor's very pleased with you. Did he say when I can get out? Two weeks. Oh, two weeks? Oh, come on, Matt. You've done five months. Another two weeks isn't going to hurt. He was very impressed with this. Couldn't believe you'd done all the programming yourself. Said it must have taken hours. Yeah, well, that's what I've got, isn't it? Lots of time. He thought you should sell it. Sell it? Well, it is quite a clever idea. You never know, somebody might want to pay for it. Who? Well, I don't know. I might take some advice on that. Look, make a copy for me. There's someone I want to show it to. You wrote it while you were in bed with rheumatic fever, I believe. What? Oh, yes, yes. A very uh, productive use of your time. But, but that was over a year ago. Um, yes, uh, yes, that's right. And you sold it for over a million pounds? Well, uh, not me, uh, my grandfather. Uh, no, the game did sell, well, rather better than anyone expected. But then he was advised by an expert to use the money to have the game reprogrammed and expanded so that it could be sold in America. <laughs> America? Uh, yes. Uh, where it was a particular hit in uh, Massachusetts, uh, which is where it was noticed by the Japanese. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they did with it, but it can't have been all bad, because when it was released last October, it went into the top ten in Tokyo in a matter of weeks. Ah, this is what it looks like, by the way. This is my game? Well, um, there are people played around with quite a lot, but it's still basically your idea. Which is why you're entitled to 10% of the money from every sale. And that's 10% um, of um, 8,000 yen. Um, and it's sold over 300,000 copies, so that's... Um... Ah, I've got the rough figures here. You didn't know about any of this, did you? No, nothing. I'm sorry. But I think the uh, first question, in view of all these irregularities, is um, do you want this firm to continue handling your business, or would you rather go elsewhere? No, I'm quite happy. You're sure? Well, you seem to be doing quite a good job. Oh, well, thank you. Well, in that case, I think the best thing for me to do is to get these papers uh, properly sorted out so that we can go through them with your mother tomorrow. And uh, in the meantime, you should get that check safely into the bank. I can do that, can I? I'm sorry? Uh, you don't have to be 18 or anything. Oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, 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 you can open a bank account at any age. In fact, I think you'll find they'll be quite pleased to see you. Hmm. He didn't tell you which bank. He said it depends on what I wanted. The one with the highest rate of return, the most branches, something about the largest capital investment programme. Let's go for that one. Why? I like the pinners. That settles it then. You need to buy some clothes, you know. You can't go around as a millionaire dressed like that. Why not? This is stylish. But it's rubbish. It is not. Don't be a millionaire. Oh, yeah, look at yours then. Good morning. 
Uh, good, mo good morning. My friend would like to open a bank account. Would he? Well, he's come to the right place. Let me get you a form. What is it? Birthday money? Mm, not exactly. And, it, and it's not money. It, it's a check, if, if that's all right. Oh, I think we'll probably cope with that. Although, of course, you'll have to remember that with a check... Um, <clears throat> this, um... This, uh, this is what you want to put in your account? Yes. Is, um... It's quite real. It's not a joke or anything. I, I got it this morning. With this. Yes. Would you excuse me a moment? Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Collins. If you'd like to follow me, please, the manager'd like a word. You know, I've been in banking for 30 years and I've never seen anything like it. You say these are profits from a, a computer game? Yes. Extraordinary. Quite extraordinary. It's all right, though, isn't it? I mean, it's a real check and everything. Oh, yes, 100%. We've been making a few phone calls and everything's confirmed. Does that mean he can have the money? Uh, I'm afraid it's not quite as simple as that. We're hurrying through the paperwork as fast as we can, but we won't have the authorization to dispense cash until tomorrow. Is that all right? Fine. No problem. If there's any urgent requirement, we could make an advance. No. Tomorrow will be fine. Good. Good. Well, uh, if you could get your parents to sign this form, then we can let you have a checkbook and cash card and... And then can he have the money? Absolutely. As much as he wants. Well, if there's nothing else we can do for you... Well, there was one thing. Yes? I would quite like to see the money. See it? Well, yes, in a pile. I would like to see the money before you put it away. Well, it's not one of our usual services, but you're not a very usual customer, are you? I'll see what I can do. Till tomorrow, then. Thank you very much, Mr Napier. Not at all, Matt. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Oh, uh, what do your parents think of all this, then? Uh, well, I've only got a mum, and I... I haven't actually told her yet. You haven't told her? My word, she's in for quite a surprise, isn't she? Yes. Yes, I suppose she is. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? The money? Yes. I haven't really decided. Well, you must have some ideas. Oh, yes. I've got some ideas. <laughs> Ah, oh, good morning, Mr. Collins. Oh, thank you. Make a big way. Get them some room, please. And make way. Get back, you. This way, this way, this way. Don't worry about being late. Yeah. Take your coat. Thank you. That should be okay. All right. Ready, mate? Thank you. If you copy these questions down in your exercise books, please. Your mum's back. What? Your mum. Sorry I'm late. Couldn't get the till to add up again. Honestly, I sometimes wonder why anyone invented money. Of this trouble in the Middle Ages. You wanted a pram, you swapped it for three goats. Had a good day? N not bad. Oh, well, I'm glad someone enjoyed it. Uh, Mum, could you sign this? What is it? It's so I can open a bank account. Bank account? You haven't got any money, have you? Well, the thing to remember about money, Matt, is that if you spend it now, it'll just be gone. But if we put things in your savings account, it'll always be there for when you really need it. Well, have you? What? 
I was just saying you haven't got any money, have you? Oh. I, I've got some. Well, what's wrong with keeping it in your money box? Well, I, I thought it might be safer in a, in a bank. Well, anything that encourages you to save. Just promise me you won't get an overdraft. Promise. You didn't tell her, did you? No. Why not? I, I was going to, but... You can't get a million and a quarter pounds in the post and not tell your own mother, Matt. Look, I'm going to. It's just I remember my Xmas money. Your what? Each Christmas, I get some money from my aunts. And each Christmas, Mum gives me ten pounds and puts the rest into savings. So? Supposing she does the same with this. Supposing Mum gives me ten pounds and tells me to leave the rest in a bank. But she couldn't do that, could she? That's what I want to find out. Well, the short answer is, uh, yes, she could. Oh, I knew it! The money is yours, Matt, as you say. And nothing can happen to it without your permission. But um, as your legal guardian, your mother is able to say how much you can spend and when until you're 18. Yes, thank you. Was there anything in particular you wanted to buy? Well, not really. He just wanted to be able to spend more than £10. I see. Um, I don't know your mother very well, Matt, but I don't think you need to worry about that. I know her. I think you should worry. She's very keen on savings. Oh, well, I'm sure she is. And for most people in most circumstances, that's a very sensible policy. But a lot of the rules change when you're a millionaire, Matt. Uh, savings is one of them. Putting um, 30 or 40 pounds in the post office when you have very little money is common sense. But um, when you have well, a million, what happens to the tens or, or even hundreds seems well, less important. Uh, particularly when uh, cheques like this arrive in the post. This is for me? Uh, half your profits for the sale of your game in um, uh, Malaysia. You're giving him more money? The game is still selling. Uh, not as fast as it was, but uh, it's nothing to be sneezed at. How much is it? 39,000 for... 39,000! I'm, I'm sorry. I, I get a bit... Um... Uh, believe me, I quite understand. Look, I honestly don't think you need to worry about having enough money to spend. Quite frankly, I think that's going to be the least of your worries. Now, um, uh, today is Wednesday. Is there any chance of your mother coming in to see me this morning? I'll ask her. Would it be all right if she came this afternoon? If that would be more convenient. Oh! Oh, yeah, yes, it would rather. It's just there's something else we have to do this morning. It's slightly more than that now, because of the interest, you see. The, the what? The interest. That's what we give you for letting us look after your money. You pay him money to look after all this? We certainly do. And on this amount of money, we calculate it by the day. So, how much has he got now? I'm not sure of the exact figure. Well, as of today, Matt has £1,227,662.93p. But, but that's an extra... Uh, 353 pounds and 6p. You're going to give him that much every day? We are indeed. And, of course, with the cheque that you've just given me, that figure... Goodness, are, are you all right? Are you all right? I'm, I'm sorry. 
Would you like a glass of water? No, no, really, I'm fine. C could I take some of this now? You can take as much of it as you want. It's your money. It's all your money. But what about one of these? Twenty pounds. Yes. If you could write out a cheque for twenty pounds, Janet, for Mr. Collins to sign. Yes, Mr. Napier. What are you going to do with it? Uh, I thought I might get a couple of hamburgers on the way home. Splendid. And what about the rest? Uh, um, I, I might buy a Mars bar. Yes, yes, well, I, I really meant the rest of all this. <laughs> I wondered if you worked out what you were going to do with it all. Oh, N no, no, I haven't really decided yet. No, he's still thinking. Three hundred and fifty-three pounds every single day. Uh-huh. Three hundred and fifty-three pounds? And that's without spending any of your money. Yep. I mean, what is it going to be like? What is it going to be like to get that much every day? To have whatever you want. If I ever find out, I'll let you know. Ah, your mum. Yep. She could make you save it all, Matt. Not all of it. She couldn't. No? You want me to? No, I'll be all right. Well, good luck. I've, um, got something to tell you. Oh, yes. What? I got a letter yesterday from Mr. Wattis, the solicitor. Oh. Hang on. Morning, Mrs. Collins. Oh, Jimmy, uh, hang on, I'll be right back. Not unless you've got a spare ten pound note. We owe the milkman for two weeks. Hey, you can borrow this. What's that? It's mine. Yours? I got some money in the post yesterday. Look, you can have it if you like. You got money in the post? Yes. How much money? One million, two hundred and twenty-seven thousand, three hundred and nine pounds, eighty-seven p. Mrs. Collins, I'll call back if that's easier. I, w I, w I was going to tell you. Five thousand? 